In our video today, we will be talking about barbecuing or grilling. There are many ways to barbecue and most people will tell you that they do it best. So today, we will be sharing with you some tips and tricks to ensure that you can be the barbecue expert in the family or most friends. But before we continue, we want to make sure it's clear that we are an Amazon affiliate. If you buy anything by clicking our links in the description box, we may earn a commission. Now that that's out of the way, let's get barbecuing. The word barbecue comes from the language of a Caribbean Indian tribe called the Taino. Their word for grilling on a raised wooden grate is barbacoa. This first appeared in print in the Spanish explorer's account of the West Indies in 1526, according to Planet Barbecue. Barbecuing has been used for more than a thousand years ago for meat storage and to make sure that the meat is safe to eat. Exposing the meat to low heat and smoking the meat will kill any living bacteria and prevent it from growing back again. And the best ones to use in smoking or barbecuing are oak, hickory, maple, pecan, apple, and cherry woods. Smoking requires a lot of patience and high-quality meat. The culinary geniuses know how to identify the flavors of the true smoked meat. That scent must be infused entirely on the meat. For you to achieve this feat, meat should be smoked for hours and sometimes, even days. There are two ways to smoke meat. The first method is called cold smoking. This process works best with food like chicken breast, salmon, scallops, steak, cheese, and sausages. This is used for flavor and done with meat that has been cured or has already been previously cooked. Hot smoking is done when you want to fully cook the food you are smoking as well as infuse that incredible smoky flavor onto it. This is great for large cuts of meat like ham, ham hocks, ribs, pulled pork, and brisket. Typically, hot smoked meats are reheated or cooked further later, but they are safe to eat right away if they have been fully cooked through. Hot smoking will give the meat more moisture and help lock in the natural flavors of the meat. While the authentic smoky flavor that you get from the pit and charcoal is unbeatable, you can totally increase the texture by adding wood to your fire. The first thing you need to identify is what kind of meat will you be cooking as this shall decide what kind of wood you should be using. Using wood chunks is the easiest way, just simply arrange the hardwood all around the perimeter of the gas grill's cooking surface. Close the lid to lock the heat. Prepare all the meat you need as fast as you can, cause once the smoke starts you are good to go. When dealing with open fire and gas you need to make sure that there are no fire hazards near the pit or grill. It always pays to be alert on this kind of occasion and cookouts. Here are a few things that you need to take note of when it comes to your safety when barbecuing. First, make sure that your grill is at least 10 feet away from your house. This includes your garage or any additional house fixtures that can catch fire like wooden doors. Second, clear out your grill from grease and fat that builds up when you use it. Grease is a common cause of flare-ups. Third, make a solution of soap and water and rub it across the hose. Turn on the gas and check if there is any part of the hose that bubbles. If there is any, do not attempt to use the hose and start any fire. Fourth, do not attach any decoration to your grill. This can easily catch fire. Last but not the least, keep a fire extinguisher near your grill and know how to use it. To further protect you from a possible house fire when using the grill, Advantage Insurance Solutions can help you know more about coverages that can maximize your protection at the best value. Let our team be your advantage today.